Hi there and welcome to this Advent Tarot series. It's the 22nd of December and the card for today is the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups shows this young man riding on a white horse. He's moving forward in a, quite a slow, careful way, holding out a golden cup in one hand as if he's uh, like offering his heart. He's moving forward in a very serene, calm way. And he's intently focused on something outside of the frame of the picture. So over his armor, you can see that he's wearing a robe that's covered in fishes. And that's symbolic of creativity and the unconscious mind. And you can see on his helmet and on his ankles, on his, on his boots, you, he's got wings that are coming out of the armor which might suggest that he's a kind of a messenger for something. White horses in tarot, those are often about spirituality, purity, power, and also a sense of uh, forward drive and momentum that actually is divinely led. Like it's, um, it's like you're being lifted and carried by something that is uh, divinely ordained, if you like. You can also see this barren landscape in the background and with a river flowing through it and a few trees in the distance. And this is the suggestion that even in the most inhospitable of places, new life can start and grow and develop when you connect with your emotional self and your creativity. So this knight is very connected to his feminine side. He's very creative. He loves to express his emotions through art or surround himself in beauty. He's intuitive, he's empathic, and he's probably the most romantic card in the deck. He's very self-aware and very in touch with his own feelings and emotions. And because of that, he's kind and caring and compassionate with others because he really understands them and gets where they're coming from. He can sense how they're feeling. And he wears his heart on his sleeve and he shares his love freely without holding back. So if you feel a connection with the Knight of Cups today, it might be that something in your heart needs expressing. Perhaps you're the messenger of love or he might represent someone that's going to be bringing a message that's of emotional benefit to you. It could be a reminder to really indulge your senses in beauty surround yourself in something that's like really nourishes you in that sensual way visual way or take some time out to really express your innermost feelings through some sort of some sort of creative endeavor like writing a poem or painting or maybe photography or ceramics or, or something that really you love to do here's about taking inspired action to create something new and beautiful and that could be artistic, but it could also be about moving forward with your, your heartfelt dreams and or projects. But he also reminds us that to make dreams become a reality, then they do have to be grounded. They have to be planned out to some degree and they have to be acted upon rather than just be left in the realms of imagination where they never get fulfilled. He's someone who is very good at following his heart and intuition. And while that might not make sense to other people, he is really comfortable with that because he he knows how to do it. He knows what feels right. But if there's a warning in this card, it is to check in with yourself before you make any really big decisions. Make sure that you aren't just immersed in an overly active imagination that's you know become quite romantic because he has got a tendency to do that too. So see, make sure you see how things, how they really are rather than how you want them to be. Otherwise, that can lead to disappointment or disillusionment. So if the Knight of Cups has an, a message for you today, do let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow.